so what happened was um, I had a tumor in my spinal cord and they wanted to do a biopsy to see whether it was cancerous or not and just to see you know how it's looking and all that and uh, just doing the biopsy that caused my neurolysis. So. It was very devastating and tragic, very tragic for me. But uh, it definitely changed my whole perspective of life. It, it, it made me realize there's more to life than what I know. You know, because um, yeah, I guess you know when you, when you have something taken away from you, uh, you know, and you're left with what you got, you kind of have to just scoop up what you have and work with it. You know, so losing something so big, you know, uh, that a lot of people take for granted. You know. Like, walking, you know, people wake up in the morning, get up and walk, you know, it's that easy, you know, um, you know, I'm not the only one that feels this way, but, you know, just having that taken away from me, you know, makes you realize that, you know, there's, there's still more to life than, you know, just your daily, just your daily thing, you know, just the little things that you can do, you know, um, so CrossFit impacted my life in a big way, uh, ment mentally, physically, you know, and emotionally. It's definitely helped me prepare for the real world with everything that CrossFit offers, you know. Um, it's to help you mobilize yourself for everyday use, you know, so that's helped me a lot. Uh, as far as mentally, you know, being able to overcome stuff that I didn't think I could, you know, or it brought me to the mindset that, you know, if I can't do it, I won't know if I can't do it until I actually try. It helped me emotionally in a way that CrossFit as a community um, is just great people, you know, the coaches, just everybody, just just the community, the whole aspect of it, it's uh, very welcoming, you know, um, it's not your typical, you know, bunch of people in a group going to the gym to work out, you know, it's more of a, a family, a friends and family bond that you have when you're working out. After surgery and going through rehab, um, I definitely went through my phase of depression and all that, but uh, that didn't last too long for me just because of what I've seen from other people, you know. Because um, I was just so ignorant to, to, you know, to my injury, not knowing anything about it, you know, not knowing what life is about after, you know, being in a wheelchair, you know, I was so ignorant to it. So it was just, you know, I didn't, you know, I just felt like there was no, there was no life left to live. But um, seeing other people in wheelchair and, um, you know, living their life and just seeing them going out and about doing their own thing, it kind of like, you know, it kind of hit me like, hey, you know, this is not the end of it, you know, there's, there's still, there's still, there's still something ahead of you, you know, you just got to go look for it, you know, you got to find what's going to move, uh, what's going to be moving you forward, and uh, CrossFit is definitely one of the biggest things that definitely helped me, uh, CrossFit has definitely been like a big, uh, a big platform of, you know, my strength and my endurance, you know, which is what you need as an athlete. Uh, so, yeah, CrossFit is basically my core of, 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 it, of it right now. So, so um, I decided to, to join CrossFit, especially for the structure. Um, if I was to go and work out in the gym on my own, you know, I'd be lost. I, I honestly wouldn't know what to do. I mean, I would have known a little bit, but I wouldn't know my full potential, what I'm able to do in the hip if I didn't come to CrossFit and, you know, learn stuff. And it was a process too, um, especially coming to Sean, you know, showing up, you know, wheelchair, you know. Was, I know he was surprised, he was like, okay, you know, just rolling in. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm going to start CrossFit and this and that. And uh, I could just tell by the look of his face that, you know, he's like, okay, it's going to be a challenge for him because, you know, I'm the only member of the uh, period in the wheelchair, so, um, but as time went by, we definitely progressed, you know, um, from the little stuff to the big stuff, you know, to the most challenging, you know, the most, you know, pushing myself to, to our, you know, the hardest thing I've ever done, you know, um, so that progression from, you know, beginning to now, definitely been, uh, it's been amazing. My name is, uh, Thomas Sagtow, and, uh, I'm a member here at CrossFit Hideaway in Galveston.